Let's also go across to some breaking updates now coming in. These are ISRO sources telling CNN News 18 that the Prime Minister is all set to meet ISRO scientists on August 26. Remember, the Prime Minister is currently in South Africa for the BRICS summit. But the first thing, one of the first things he's going to be doing when he comes back to India is meet the ISRO scientists uh, on August 26 is what we are being told. Uh, for uh, in another three days, remember, uh, the Prime Minister joined virtually today as far as this mission was concerned towards the last five to ten minutes. My colleague Payal Mehta is also joining us with more on this. Payal, what more are you learning? You heard the Prime Minister speak to the ISRO uh, scientists, address the entire country and then speak to the ISRO chief as well. And he did, uh, you know, tell the ISRO chief that I will try my best to come at the earliest to congratulate the entire team and meet them in person for achieving this mission which looks practically impossible uh, at one point in time because India is the first country in the world to have, uh, you know, made, uh, to have uh, have achieved this as well. So what was given to understand is once the Prime Minister reaches back to the country after, after finishing his tour both to South Africa as well as to Greece, he will be going straight uh, to the ISRO headquarters, he will be going to Bangalore and he will be meeting them there and congratulating them and because it's a massive achievement as far as the country is concerned, Shivani. Absolutely. Payal, uh, appreciate you joining us with those updates. Of course, uh, as far as the Prime Minister's focus on these missions is concerned, we all have seen over the last uh, 10 years that he has focused uh, incredibly on space exploration and given ISRO and other agencies uh, all the support. Uh, it's not just about money, frankly. It's also support that comes from the government and on the, from the leaders of the day that makes a difference. I request all of our guests to stay with us. We have to slip into a very short break and we'll be right back with some of the top moments and voices on ISRO's spectacular achievement.